my cool cats and kittens. My name is Kiyomi, and I'm the commissioner for program board, and this is how I make my morning coffee. First, I put on the hot water, and it's currently boiling. Well, that's boiling. I go over here to my mug. This is Eric's Gilmore Girls mug. Thank you, Eric, for letting me use this. Then, I use a little pour over. This is actually Alex's pour over, but for demonstration purposes. Put it there. I get a little filter with one hand. And I try to open it. Okay. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Then, I have my beautiful Starbucks coffee on brand. This is really hard with one hand. And then I attempt to scoop it out. So you should do like uh, quite a lot of scoopings, as you can see. So I put about three or so spoonfuls in there. I'll leave that. And then once the water is done, come over and grab it. Boop, 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 boop. And then she was to like wet it first a little bit, let that simmer, ooh baby, then you just slowly fill it up until your coffee's full. Now that it's full of coffee, I will get a little spoonful of sugar, put her in, and then it like melts and shit in there, then I get some oat milk that I got from the food co-op. Hell yeah. Pour it in. Stir it up. Bam. Hello everybody, my name is Gabe. I am the current cultural arts and lectures coordinator for UCSB's AS program board. Now I'm going to be showing you how I make right, mine. So I got my trusty, dusty old Keurig here. I put some coconut sugar in the bottom of the coffee cup. And I have a K-cup, but this one's compostable, so you know we're saving the whole environment. Nothing fancy. Hello, my name's Inaya. I'm the publicity assistant for AS Program Board, and today I'm going to show you how I make my quarantine coffee. In this mug right here, I have hot water. It's just warming up the mug a little bit. This is something I watched on the Bon Appetit edition of this, and also a few of my regulars at Starbucks will do it. Um, I guess it helps preserve the taste of the coffee or something like that. I don't know. I just started doing it, and I also don't typically make my coffee at home, but... This is what we're doing. And in this mug right here, I have a little bit of oat milk that I'm gonna warm up in the microwave because I don't wanna add cold milk to my hot coffee. I'm gonna pour out my hot water and you can tell that it's warm and like you can feel the outside of the mug. So I'm gonna pour out my water and then start my curing. I typically like to use a dark roast and then I'm gonna put it on the lowest setting because I like a stronger cup of coffee. And while I have my coffee brewing, I like to put the oat milk into the microwave so that it can warm up. And my coffee is done brewing and my oat milk is all warmed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bottle of toffee nut syrup that I got from my job and I'm gonna um, put about three pumps into my coffee and then I'm gonna take my oat milk and just pour it over and then I'm gonna stir it up and I'm all done. Hi, my name is Esteban and I am the film's coordinator for AS Program Board. I'm gonna go through my morning coffee routine with you guys. Uh, so usually before when I wake up I have my dog with me so I have to take him on a walk but before I can do that I need some coffee so I wake up I uh, look in the mirror and I see that my roots are really really bad but other than that I will get started on how I make coffee uh, it's nothing too crazy I usually just fill it up about like four on this if you have it and then I walk over here uh, open this up we got a reusable uh, what are these called uh, Filters, <laughs> yeah. So um, instead of buying uh, and wasting uh, filters, we just bought a reusable one, so we don't have to waste any. Uh, so over here, uh, I'm not too crazy about like name brand coffee. I just kind of pick whatever I see. So this time at Target, I got Twisted Hazelnut. 
And it's a light roast, but what I like about it is that when I wake up and it's brewing, it smells like really strong like hazelnut, so it kind of smells like a coffee shop. Uh, but yeah, I put about two to three scoops in here, depending on uh, how much I'm trying to make. Usually I make about two cups, just in case uh, my housemate, roommate, or want one, or if I want two cups. Jacob, do you want any coffee? Do you want any coffee? He doesn't want any, but we look out for our own here. So other than that, it's pretty simple. Just pour in the amount. I already made coffee earlier, so uh, yeah. And close this, and then you hit brew, and so it's filling up. I had already put some coffee to vibe out on the side so that I didn't have to wait for it to brew. And then I put a little bit of sugar, um, usually about a tablespoon, but I don't want to get a spoon, so. Kind of eye it out, mix it up, and you're good to go. Thanks, guys. Hey, y'all. So, my name's Catherine. I'm this year's concerts assistant, and I'm gonna show you how to make my coffee. Okay, so first thing this is the coffee I use it's Colombian coffee, 100% Colombian instant coffee. I hate on instant coffee, but it's a bomb. It's really good. Okay, so I take like this much, <laughs> this much, put in a cup. Okay, and then I have Keurig. So I'm gonna do like 10 ounces of water and then let that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little misto action. So I have this little pot thing and it comes with the Keurig that my mom has, which is pretty cool. But it has like these little lines for like latte, cap, whatever. I'm gonna fill it like halfway, steam this milk. Something about hot coffee and cold milk just does not sit right with me. I feel like it just messes it up. Um, kind of like a little like frothy milk, you know? So I'm gonna let that steam. Okay, my milk is done. So take it. I'm gonna mix it around a little bit. Okay, and that's how I make my coffee. Hi, my name is Brenna Collins and I'm the special events assistant on program board. I'm gonna show you guys how to make my coffee. Okay, so this is the first step for making the coffee. I just put a mason jar here and I use two scoops of this coffee and then I just hit the iced button. So after the coffee's made, I just go ahead and add some ice to it. And the last step is I just take this Trader Joe's vanilla coffee creamer and I pour a bit of that in. I'm gonna just take a straw and mix it around. And then it's all done. Hi everyone, my name is Alexis. I'm this year's event safety assistant and I'm going to show you how I make my tea. Alright, so what you need is some loose leaf teas. A friend actually gifted me this, but you can get this brand at an Asian supermarket or maybe even online. Um, a teapot just because it has a strainer built in and makes things a lot easier and some creamer if that's what you like. So first I just put some old tea leaves in. So this was about three tablespoons. Um, and as you can see, should be enough for about one person. Then I'm going to pour some hot water in. Okay, so I definitely struggled pouring in hot water with just one hand, but I pretty much poured in a cup of hot water over the leaves in this teapot, and then I let it soak for a few minutes, and then I got some green tea. Next, I put a spoonful of creamer in, stir it in, serve it over ice, and enjoy. Hi, my name is Patel. I'm Deputy Commissioner for AS Program Board, and this is how I make my morning coffee. Let's get to it. This is a cold brew coffee from Kona Red. I got the original blend. It's from the co-op. Um, this whole thing probably cost about like $3, and I could use it up to like two times. So I think it's worth it. I got the So Delicious Dairy-Free Oat Milk Creamer in vanilla. 
Um, I've just been like super obsessed with oat milk lately, as everyone else has. And I just like that it's super creamy. I think it's gonna pair really well with the cold brew that I got, so let's try it. And then I'll add this oat milk creamer. Yum. Brand new. And then I'll put like a good amount of this. I'm like a milky type of person. Um, I put a good amount. I like it a light brown color. Um, I might have put too much. Add my reusable straw, like so. <laughs> and I mix it. Definitely put too much milk today. It still tastes so good. I really think it's this. Get this. Thanks for joining me while I make my coffee. I'm gonna take this outside. What's going on, guys? It's Brett, your concert coordinator, coming at you. Gonna make a little ice latte. First, you know, gotta get your grounded beans. I love beans. It's what makes the latte, the latte, you know? Shout out Latte Larry's. You gotta pack it in. Put this bad boy in there. Get your little espresso shot glasses. Throw them in here. Good flow. You got your glass. I like to put in these uh, little plastic ice cubes so they get it kind of cold, but they don't actually get it watery. I like to use this homemade oat milk, you know. Who drinks milk from cows anymore? You know? Shake it up a little bit. a nice little pour. Pack the Splenda. A little mix. That's a nice latte. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Pacheco and I'm the current special events coordinator for AS Program Board. And today we are going to be making a matcha green tea latte. So I went to Trader Joe's the other day and as I was going through the aisles, I found this mix. And I decided to buy it for two reasons. One, I no longer have a job so I can't afford to buy Starbucks every day. And two, I shouldn't be leaving my house anyway. So here we are. And it looks according to the instructions slash ingredients that all I'm going to need is this mix, a measuring spoon, a cup of ice, and a milk of choice. I have oat milk and almond milk in my house, but I think I'm going to be using the almond milk today. And usually when I get this drink at Starbucks, I get it with soy milk, but I don't have soy milk, so this will have to do. So yeah, let's get started. First thing I'm going to go ahead and do is use my coffee maker for hot water. While the coffee maker does its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and pour three tablespoons of the Trader Joe's matcha mix into the little Tupperware that I have. Once I'm done doing that, my hot water should be ready and I'm gonna use two tablespoons of that hot water and go ahead and pour it in with my mix. 
For this next step, I decided to use a mixer instead of a whisk because I couldn't find the whisk in my kitchen. But as you can see, I was having a really hard time filming this part because the cord for the mixer was so tangled and I was too lazy to untangle it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and pour my milk into my cup of ice and mix the matcha mix in there too. And we should be done. All right. And now for the finished result. It's right here. So it doesn't look that green on camera, but I promise it's a lot greener in person. And I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. I hey, what's up guys? I'm Lucas Jackson. I'm the assistant production coordinator for ASMR. This is how I make All right, so the first thing I do is I just get my whirly pitcher. Just fill it up. And then I just put that, turn that on. Next step, since I use a French press, I usually grind my own beans. Today I'm gonna use the Stone Brewery X Mostra Brazilian origin beans. So gotta grind that out. Other people take their coffee more seriously than me and like measure it out like scales and stuff like that. I just measure it up to the line. All right, so the water just finished boiling. That means it's time to add it into the, to the French press itself. I usually just fill it up. To around that black line. And then we just put it on the top. We just chill out for four minutes. All right, so it's been four minutes since I put the hot water in. Now it's time for my favorite part. I'm just gonna kind of punch it down. Pick out your favorite cup. Obviously, you gotta go with the UCSB cup. Pour it in. You're good to go. That's it. That's just how I make my morning coffee. Cheers. I'm a coach, and I'm publicity coordinator for ASPB. And this is what I look like before my morning coffee. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my coffee. Ah. Okay, so my morning coffee process is honestly kind of hard to follow. Um, so, it's pod. When you put it in, then you press strong, and then you select a cup size. That took so long. Morning coffee. Good trust. 